This is an excellent shield, sir. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield, Sunil. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. Aid me, be my eyes. Exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. Yeah. 
You're a difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Ayal is dead. Mm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Heminger's heart was as steady as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom. Always an inspiration. The web of Weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes. I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming the Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger would be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Festive. Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trickley. I'll do what I can to calm things. Go. My eyes. That Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? Help! Fire! Save my food! It burns! <laughs> If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rus of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Cast about this land, my friend. Insult our culture. <gasps> He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. They are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. Now he's locked up in the house. No Come out, you duck. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Come out, you dung-eating rat! Get that stain out here now! <laughs> the people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh, my God! <laughs> Get that stain out here now! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God! So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course! I anointed him in the name of the Lord!
Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Survey the area soon. In. Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to treat me, to let him know. I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. What do you see, Sunan? With Heminger Yard gone, can Billy hold the reins? Will he guide us through? Kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Oh, ah, new leather. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingbriak with ale and open arms.
Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you augur what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Older, I... Your heart is restless, your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the god's wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. I need your eyes, my friend. Heming Ayal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. 
One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. This is not how I remember you. Too soon, Hemminger Jarl. The Shire's face is certain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, A4. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Yes. 